Using Mari 1.4's brand new layered painting project and layered painting unproject tools, you can very easily send data from your Mari project over to Photoshop to be worked on. Now in this example, I'm going to be doing just that to add in a tattoo on the back of our ogre's head. So I'm going to zoom right into the section that I want. I'm then going to come up to the camera menu and click layered painting projection settings. Now inside of this pop-up, we get all of the channels that we have inside our current project, and we want to make sure that the channels we want to send to Photoshop are selected. Now in this case, I want to send two channels over, so I'm going to select the diffuse main and the wet map channel. Now underneath our channels list, we have access to the resolution of the file when it goes over to Photoshop, the path to the PSD file itself, and also the path to our image editor, as Mari is automatically going to load that up for us and open up the PSD file. So I'm going to click OK for now. I'm going to come back up to camera and click Layered Painting Unproject. Now when I do that, a few things are going to happen. Mari is going to take a snapshot through the buffer in Mari and save that out as a PSD file. And that file is then opened up in Photoshop for us to work with. Now down here in the bottom right hand corner, we of course have the layers stack. And inside of this, you can see we've got currently six layers in this project. Now right now everything's looking a little bit dark because of our wet map in here, so I'm temporarily going to turn that off while I'll explain the rest of the stack. Now you might see that we've got four locked layers in here and two unlocked layers, and this is Mari's way of telling you the layers that you need to paint on in order for this process to work. So going top from bottom, uh, first of all we have a wireframe layer which describes the poly layer of the object, uh, however I don't need this right now so I'm going to turn that off. Underneath this, we have a lighting layer, which describes any additional lighting we've done within Mari, but that too, I need to turn off for now. Now at the very bottom of your layer stack, you're going to have two layers for every channel that you imported from Mari into Photoshop, and the naming conventions here are quite important. So for instance, I've got a locked layer at the bottom here called Diffuse Main, which is the name of the channel we brought in from Mari, and the channel that we're looking at right now. Now above the Diffuse Main layer, I've got a blank layer unlocked, which is called Diffuse Main Paint. And you can think of this as a container for any information you want Mari to bake down into the Diffuse Main channel. So to go over that again with the wet map, we have the wet map, which is the information coming over from Mari. Then above that we have wet map paint, a clear channel into which we're going to put any information we want Mari to bake down into the wet map channel. So, keeping that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a little bit of information I've already created. So the Mari logo, because of course all ogres love Mari. So I'm going to copy that guy, I'm going to come back into my export, and making sure that I'm on the diffuse main paint layer, I'm just going to paste that into place. Now I also want to apply this into my black and white wet map layer. So I'm going to select that guy and hit paste, and then going to come up to the image menu, adjustments, and come down to hue and saturation. I'm going to desaturate it completely and just adjust the lightness a little tiny bit, and this is going to give us a nice little bit of reflectivity on top of the logo. So with that done, I'm going to click OK, and at this point we want to push all of this information back over into Mari. So I'm going to save my Photoshop file, head back over into Mari, and come up to the camera menu, inside of which we've got the layered painting project option. Now when I click this, Mari is going to look inside that Photoshop file and bring back in any of the information that we put into those two container layers. So we can already see the update in our diffuse main layer, but to make sure that our wet map updated as well, I'm just going to move that up a little bit, hit I on my keyboard, select our default shader, and scroll down in the channels list to wet map. And you can see there is our updated logo. So that's the brand new layered painting project and unproject tools in Mari 1.4.